when my eyes beheld an eerie sight For my monster from his slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise He did the mash He did the monster mash Okay, everybody, good evening. I am already laughing. I was waiting till it sounded like the Monster Mash. Good evening, and thank you so much for being a part of Mrs. Green's World premiere edition of Down to Earth with Mrs. Green. And if you can't already tell, we are going to have a blast. We are live. We have no commercials. We're being filled, filmed by our friend Scott from Legendary World, the legend in his own mind. It's all good and it's so exciting. So the in-studio guests for tonight are two wise young men and I've been talking to them a little bit off air. They are Conrad Breyer, did I say it right Conrad? Yes. Thank you. And Alex Goodwin. They are both sixth graders, not kidding. Um, never know. Okay, so let's talk about your green haunted house. Why don't we start there? Okay. You're ready. So uh, we have a haunted house every year around Halloween in the f week before, and we really do things that haunted houses that are really public don't do, as our walls we use sheets. Okay. For mannequins we use old shirts filled with unused toilet paper rolls. <laughs> I love that. Okay, that's a great hint. And you'll see that the masks we have in the haunted house are probably 20 years old. We use them every year. So who were they passed down from? <laughs> they weren't from your Halloween costumes. <laughs> no, they're from everybody we can get them from. Okay, so you put those on the mannequins? Or we'll, like, uh, we had this water heater. It's about five feet tall in my garage. Okay. And we put a Darth Vader mask on it. Okay. And we put a black cloak around it. it. And when you walked around the corner, you saw this Darth Vader standing there. And it was actually kind of creepy. Okay. Because he Darth was Vader right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just an example of how you can be green in Halloween. Hey, what else is in it? I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming to your haunted house. What else is in it, Alex? Um, We have some, uh, we use, like, old boxes. Like, we got some... Uh, just like vacuum cleaner stuff like that. We have big boxes and we put like t old tablecloths over them as tables, and we put uh, our some of scary things on them. So as best friends, what made you have this idea in the first place? That's what I want to know. I mean, you're only like in sixth grade, so you've been doing it for three or four years. Uh, you just cook this up. Yeah, we've been doing the party. For five years. Okay. And the haunted house has been going on for three years, or this is our third year actually. And we started with the parties and we had like little carnival games and stuff like that. And it didn't start as really a haunted house. It started as one little haunted attraction in my backyard on my playset. Okay. And so we put black sheets around it and then we had a little doorway. And as you walked in, my dad, who has a really low voice, was sitting behind a sheet and taking the person's hand and putting it in noodles, and he'll be like, Like, that Eases. scares me. Right. Yes. And so he'd put them in, like, cold grapes, and then he'd send them out, and the next person would come in. Oh, my God. So your dad has it in his blood to be a picture, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. And he's in our haunted house. So. Okay. And then... Don't pull... Don't tell me too much, because I want to be scared. All right. Okay. So uh, then we had this great idea of let's do a real haunted house. So we have it in our garage. We have twists and turns made out of sheets, like I said. And we have people jumping out and scaring you. And it's just really fun. And it really demonstrates how you can do anything, even if you're in a small town like Tucson. <laughs> I love it. Now, Alex, do you scare people? Are you, is that part of your role? Um, yeah. I'm, I think Conrad is first, or either my stepdad. But, uh... I hide close to the beginning, and I noticed that you don't have to wear a mask when you jump out at someone because it's dark, and it gets really hot inside a mask. And so Very hot. And I'll be one of the ones screaming. Um, okay, well, I have to tell you, we have about, you know, 45 seconds left, and I feel like my world is better because both of you are in it, and I say that from my heart. Um, Conrad Breyer and Alex Goodwin, they are both unbelievable young men. You give me hope for the future. 
we will have this available for a podcast. I, I thank you both for what you're doing for the planet. Happy Green Halloween and blessings and thank you. My monster from his slab began to rise and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the match. He did the monster.